and welcome back to my channel now today i'm not cooking up a storm in my little kitchen nope today i am actually testing and reviewing this air fryer that kasori have very kindly sent me and i will be sharing it with you today now this is the kasori pro le 4.7 liter air fryer fantastic size brilliant cooking and I can't wait to share this with you. Now, a lot of people have been asking me for air fryer recipes and I've been a little reluctant because I didn't know which air fryer to go for. So when Kasori contacted me, I just couldn't say no. We're gonna have a lot more air fryer recipes on my channel, so stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, then please do turn your bell notifications on because that way, these fantastic videos that I'm putting up for you guys, you'll never ever get to see them. So let me unbox this and show you guys what it looks like inside and then we'll run through the functions and features. Right, okay guys, so the Kasori air fryer is out of the box and it looks absolutely lovely. Love the shape, love the black matte finish. Now, I know most of you will agree with me when I say this, but it's important. Color is important because all of my kitchen appliances are black, so it fits perfectly. And I like the size of it as well. It's not too bulky, it's compact, wonderful. And it comes with this um, crisper sort of like uh, tray here, like that, which will sort of like help crisp up sort of like chicken pieces or um, French fries, you know, wedges, whatever you fancy comes with that. It also comes with the instruction manual, which is very important. Do read the instruction manual and familiarise yourself because nothing worse than just going and trying to sort of like get these things working because um, it's there, it's made, it's made to make our life simpler. So do actually take some time out to read that. And it comes with... Um, a recipe book as well which is handy because if you don't know what to sort of like make then you can try that out and there's another little card in here which is the two-year warranty so you've got two-year warranty on this baby so that's good to know because you know if things don't work out right you know you have some sort of like repairs that you need to carry out then obviously you've got this uh, two-year guarantee which is in place okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this okay fantastic pop that to the side and this is how it looks, absolutely wonderful. So let's open this up. And that is the inside of it. So you can see huge capacity, I think, because I do a lot of cooking and I know that, you know, you need a lot of space to cook in and that is a 4.7 litre capacity basket. And the fact that it's um, a square shaped, but the edges, if you can see, are rounded off. And this is perfect because when you put big pieces of like chicken and say, for example, you're making tandoori chicken and you want it to sit around the edges, this area is perfect because it's slightly rounded. And honestly, it'll work wonders when you actually make something like that because you'll know. And I love the fact that it's non-stick, so you know food is not gonna stick to the bottom of it, along with the, uh, the crisper here, the crisper sort of like, um, Crisper tray, that's the one, crisper tray. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Right, okay guys, so after removing the air fryer out of its original packaging, I've plugged it in and I've got it set up here now. I don't know if you can see, but the power button is actually on. You can see that there. And one thing to remember when you're actually using your air fryer is make sure you actually place it on an even heat resistant surface and leave 13 centimeters or five inches behind and above from your air fryer because this is a mini oven and it works just like one because there's a vent at the back and obviously while the food's cooking and that hot air is circling inside it will actually sort of like release the vapors out from the back so that's one of the the important things to remember right so the air fryer is now ready to use and i'm going to turn it on and you need to just simply press the power button to turn it on and you've got this wonderful tilted touch screen here and everything is just sort of like easy to read you've got nine cooking functions which range from chicken to frozen foods to seafood to vegetables and it's got the timings here you've got the temperature which can go up and down just by pressing this screen 
and you've also got the timings here. You've got a preheat section, which we will be using very soon. You've got a keep warm section, which is really, really good and useful, especially when you've got guests coming and you need the food to sort of like still be warm. So you've got that there. You've also got the shake button, which is the reminder button. So if you're cooking um, a dish in here and you want it sort of like to remind you halfway through the cooking time to shake it just press that button then obviously it just starts bleeping and um, I will show you later on with the recipe that we do where I use that and how I use it so now we're going to preheat this and we are just simply going to press the preheat button and we're going to preheat this it automatically comes up with the preheat here so just to show you guys so you can see it says preheat at 205 degrees for four minutes. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the start button and that's gonna start the preheat function. And that's the first thing you need to do before you start cooking any meal in this. So I'll see you guys back in about four minutes time uh, once this is done and I'll show you what you need to do next. Right, okay guys, so the air fryer has preheated and the recipe that I'm sharing with you today is a really quick, easy one, super tasty and I'm sure everyone out there loves this recipe. It is for air fried chicken wings. I've got here half a kg, which is 500 grams of chicken wings with the skin on and I've got some spices here which I'll run through quickly with you. I've got one teaspoon of the following, salt, garlic granules, and normal paprika powder. I've got half a teaspoon of the following, ground black pepper, cayenne pepper, and I've also got smoked paprika, which is gonna add that really nice sort of like smoky barbecue flavor. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add that straight in on the wings, and then just drizzle over around a teaspoon of oil, just like that. Doesn't need any more than that. And just give that and mix. And just make sure they're all coated really nicely. Now the beauty of air frying is that it uses 85, yet 85% less oil to cook the food, which is super, super healthy. And these are just gonna turn out absolutely amazing. Okay, so nicely mixed in. There we are. Just gonna move them to the side. Take my air fryer, open it up and it's nice and hot, you can see. Now I've got the, the uh, crisper plate and I'm gonna be using the crisper plate to cook on today. So all you need to do is just very carefully just place that in and just push it down. So it just sits above the base like that. So you can see. And then I'm just gonna take the wings and place them skin side up. So just position them in there. Super, that's how it looks. And I'm just gonna take my glove off because we don't need this anymore. Right, okay guys, the wings are in the basket and we're ready to air fry. So just position your basket on again and then turn the air fryer on. We're gonna select the chicken uh, function. So on that comes and it says it automatically selects it for you so you don't really need to do anything unless you actually know and you've tested the recipe out and you know you want it cooking for longer or at a higher temperature. I'm going to cook these at 195 so I'm just going to turn the uh, temperature setting up by five degrees so there you are and I'm cooking them for 22 minutes and now I'm also going to press the shake button here which will remind me to shake the basket halfway through because it'll start bleeping and now we're just going to turn it on and allow it to do what it needs to do and I'll see you guys back halfway through the cook when I'm going to be shaking the basket to show you how it looks. And there goes the shake button. Okay so just pause that and oh Oh, just look at them, absolutely gorgeous. So just give them a little bit of a shake around so they move. That hit of that smoked paprika and that garlic, oh my God, amazing. Can't wait to tuck into it, but look at them, they're gorgeous. So just give them a shake and then 
back on again and the functions remain the same so you don't need to touch anything just press the pause button to turn it back on again and let that continue now and i'll show you how they look once they're done and the chicken wings are ready so oh my god they look absolutely gorgeous just look at that crispy skin sizzling away right i'm gonna take them out and i'm gonna plate them up and there you have it guys perfectly cooked chicken wings in the Kasori Pro LE 4.7 litre air fryer. That is perfection on a plate. I'm just going to let them cool down a little and then I'm going to tuck right in and tell you guys exactly how they are. Right, okay guys, my air fried chicken wings are all plated up and they have cooled down so I can tuck into this now and tell you guys exactly how they are. Oh my God, just look at that. Beautiful. Oh my, wow. Super, super, super juicy and moist and tender. Oh my God. And that dry rub that we added, oh my God, it's absolutely amazing, perfect little starter or snack wow oh my god that's delicious mmm you got to try the recipe out guys there you have it guys my review of the Kasori Pro LE 4.7 litre air fryer I hope you've enjoyed watching this I will leave a link for the air fryer in the description box if any of you want to go ahead and purchase that by all means do that it's been wonderful cooking in there trialing it out and i can't praise it enough so leaving you with this one i hope you've enjoyed watching this and if you have done and found it helpful don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't also forget to subscribe to my channel i'll appreciate it and turn your bell notifications on i'll catch you next week with another new video till then take care and happy eating